Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, can you please emote yeah. yourself? Can you emote yourself? I want to hear your voice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Well, we we bless the name of the Lord for another opportunity that God in heaven is giving to us this last Thursday of the year 2023. Amen. We really appreciate God. We thank God for your life. We thank God for all the participants. We bless the name of the Lord for this uh, last Thursday. Of the year 2023. May the good God that we serve, may He connect us to where our helper is in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray together. Our Father, we want to thank you for another opportunity. We want to bless your name for your goodness and for your mercy over our life. We appreciate you so much for your kindness, for your faithfulness, for your protection, Amen. for your faith salvation. Thank you, Many Lord. Many have passed under the bridge this year. Oh, Baba. We thank you for the great work and the great thing you have been doing in our life. Thank we are sure. great. And we know, and we believe there's a lot of things that you need to accomplish in our life. Yes. Tonight, there is no carryover tonight. Amen. Tonight, we pray that everyone in this prayer conference will be connected in Jesus' name. Amen. As we come to pray together, May your Holy Spirit strengthen our inner man. Amen. For the spirit of prayer upon our heart. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's appreciate God. Let's worship Him. Let's what give the glory due unto His name. Lord. Let's magnify Lord, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, ancient of days, the young as I am, the unbeatable, the unconquerable. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Lord. Give Him the glory due unto His name. The name of Jesus. We are the church of the living God, leaders, the workers, and the church. We are my conference members, leaders, and it is the Lord met God, I'm 
your life from the very first Thursday of January that we are coming here and then it's coming on our prayer meeting on Thursday. And today is the last Thursday of the year 2023. Yes. Mm. All this prayer we have been praying throughout the year every Thursday. God has been so good to us. Amen. Oh, yes. You are your family, you are alive. Yes. You are your you are your also God that be protecting you. Yes. There are many people that will start this uh this prayer online, but some of them they are no more in their faith, some of them the enemy have conquered them, some of them a lot of things happen to them, but for you, for your family, and for me, and for our ministry, God has been our helper. You oh, are yes. going to Voice and say, Father, for all what you have been doing in this Thursday online prayer meeting, yes. we give you all the glory, yes. we give you all the honor. Open your mouth and speak. For all what you have been doing on Thursday, we will be talking about the Lord has been doing our strength. Lord has Because the way I operate, I think some of you, you are, uh, by the grace of God, you are now adopting onto the way I'm, I used to minister now. And uh, sometimes I prepare uh, what I would do to the prayer meeting, the topic, and all of a sudden, I should start praying like this. They will, they will just say, I should forget what I have here. Mm -hmm. And sincerely speaking, I want to tell you the truth. What I want to take before is help from Alpha. But the, as we began to pray, the Lord began to say, Son, keep that aside. As we began to pray, the Lord began to say, Son, all the preparation you have been here, your introduction, keep it aside. And the Lord gave me a verse. And that is why, in fact, I don't, I just pray the Holy Ghost to just say, uh, we just take over this prayer section. Uh, I, I did not prepare for the what I prepared for already is I should drop it aside. And there, there's a verse that came up to my mind now. Let's talk about the open second second chronicle chapter 27. Somebody will open second chronicle chapter 27, verse 6. That is what the passage did not put into my heart to share them we pray tonight. I may not spend much time. This tonight is just from the Holy Spirit. And it depends the way the, the way the, the way the Holy Ghost will lead us tonight. I don't know. 
Who is there? Second Chronicle 27, verse 6. Who is there to read for us? So Jotham, so Jotham became mighty because he prepared his way before the Lord his God. Thank you so much. Jonathan, you said Jonathan. He became mighty. Why? Because he prepared his way before the Lord is God. And this is what, this is what I know. When we are worshiping the Lord, praising the Lord, that there is a scripture of the Lord does drop into my mind that deal on this and pray towards it. As we are praying, I began to meditate, began to ask a lot of questions before God began to give me some insight of it. He prepared the way before the Lord is God. As I look at this verse of scripture, the Lord began to give me some administration that 2023 is coming to an end. How prepared are we in 2024? 2024. He way before the Lord is God. Hold on became mighty. And as I look at this verse, I address this verse as preparation before manifestation. Holy Ghost. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I tie to it preparation before manifestation. Hmm. Preparation before manifestation. And before we become mighty in 2024. Before we will become great in 2024, before we possess our possession in 2024, here is the instruction from the Lord before we pray. We need to prepare our way before the Lord is God. So we will become mighty. So we will have our possession. So we will have our breakthrough. So we will be established in the Lord. Preparation before manifestation. The year is coming to an end. I was discussing with my family this uh this morning. I said we have 72 hours more to log in to 2024. But then these are the periods we began to we began to pray towards 2024. Not the eve of the of new year. We got to say, oh Lord, this year, do this. No. You need to begin to pray from tonight. How do you want to live 2024? What are your expectations in 2024? What do you want God to accomplish in your life in 2024? And what do you want to accomplish for God in 2024? For you to become great and mighty, preparation before manifestation. May God give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. And may the spirit of the Lord in his power begin to take all to the next level. Because this coming year 2024, listen to me, this coming year is not going to be an easy year. Take it or leave it. It's not going to be, there will be challenges in this coming year. But preparation before the manifestation. That is what we are talking about now. Preparation before the manifestation. That everything you need to acquire, everything you need to possess for your life, for your family, for your children, for your profession, you need to be preparing it for now. So that by the grace of God, as we are stepping into the new year, you will begin to harvest all those miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to hear your amen. 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 And the Lord, if, 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 if you will agree with this, see, preparation go before manifestation. Before you see the manifestation, let me just pretend, let me shift it a little bit. GCK, that pastor, the player of Kumu, your father in the Lord, has been here and here. My dear brethren, there is preparation before the manifestation of the miracle we are seeing in all the states and countries that our father in the Lord has been going. There is preparation. People fast, people pray, people wait upon the Lord. The year also prays. Some of them in, in, in Lagos here in Nigeria here, like, like the month of uh, November, it, we, we don't have a life service. The year was preparing. The, even Tuesday, Tuesday leadership meeting. We don't go to Bagada. 
We stay in our districts and then we listen to some of his old tape, his old messages. He was hearing and preparing him when he went to India. He, he spread a lot of time in India. In here, in here in Nigeria, our father in the Lord was preparing and preparing before he traveled to India. All the book of November, he did not even come to preach to us. But then the church was going on. But we understand. He was preparing for that. Look at the great miracle that happened in India. Before manifestation, before manifestation, there is preparation. Therefore, as this year is coming to an end, you must be decreed towards 2024. You must be decreed in your life. You must be decreed in the life of your children, in the life of your family member. You must be decreed right now and be telling the Lord that this 2024, I decree progress. 2024, you will speak to the year that is yet to arrive. You will speak to the year that is forthcoming. You, you know, ah, the year is here. Do you understand? The material came to Jesus. And he said, My servant is seed. I did He said, You must go. The house of Israel. As he spoke the word, the word of God went straight to the progress. Tonight, you are not to I can remain with this father. I do something for you. the month of January, you will speak in the month of February. You will speak in the month of March. You are going to speak in the month of May. How do you find January to look like in 2024? Do you need a bonus in January? What about February? You need favor in February? What about March? Do you need miracle and massive forward in, 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 in March? What about April? You need a bonus in April? You, will, you have to be decreed, God, this coming month, God, this coming year, God. Preparation before manifestation, before you become mighty, there must be preparation. You must have to be ahead of time and commit the year ahead before the Lord. And then I believe in God. This coming year will be your blessing. Okay. This coming year, every stack, every setback, and everything that have made us to cry secretly, the mm. Lord will wipe it away in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because this is this is this is the time. And I want to advise everyone of us in this class platform as the Lord is um, guiding and because I did not prepare for this, but the Holy Ghost is guide. To share it, and then we pray along what we need to pray for. For the three days ahead of us, if you can wait upon the Lord, maybe from morning to two or three o'clock, for these three days, you can go ahead. It is a great preparation for you, for your for your family, for your spiritual life, for your ministry. It's a great preparation. If you can wait upon the Lord tomorrow, you wait upon the Lord, and you break at 3 p.m. or 2 p.m., then on Saturday, you wait upon the Lord, you break it by 3 p.m. Then on Sunday again, you wait upon the Lord. It's a great preparation. It's a great preparation. And I want to assure you, you will see the manifestation. And you will become Amen. mighty in 2024. You see, no, you know what? How I pray we understand spiritual matters. May God give us understanding. Amen. May God give us wisdom. Amen. Because there are some battles... There are some battles that you need to you need to fight and overcome before before you arrive 2024. And it's just at the at the corner here. And that is why you need to be thinking ahead of you now. What is your request? What specific thing you want God to do in your life in January? What are your targets? How do you want God to start with you this coming year? So that the key mighty because he prepare his way before the law because he prepare his way he become mighty because of what he prepare his way before the law and you, you need to be serious with god this coming year as you do all this together i'm telling you as we package our life together this coming year we are going to have victory and dominion and blessing in our life, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to be glad to uh, open your mouth and appreciate the Lord once again. Thank you because this coming year, 
I will not spend much time. Um, Pastor Matthew, please get ready because I will call you up very soon. I'm not spending much time for tonight. But as the Lord will want me to lead you tonight, I will do that. But I will not spend much of your time. But you just open your mouth and begin to appreciate God because this coming year, the Lord is going to do great things in your life. This coming year. I appreciate great
before manifestation. Men and brethren, brothers and sisters, this is one of the greatest prayer requests the church has abandoned. This is one of the greatest prayer requests that many of us, we are not considering it any longer again. When Moses told Pharaoh, let my people go, Moses said, every one of us, we are leaving Egypt. We are going to pray this prayer request once again. So as a family member, Maybe your husband is not born again. And you are the only one that, that you have born again. Maybe your wife is not born again. And you are the only one that is born again. Maybe your children are not, are not born again. We are going to pray and plead with the Lord and intercede for our family member. Oh Lord, any of our family member that have not yet known the Lord, oh Lord, we pray you will trust their heart. You will turn their heart to righteousness. Let's call upon the Lord that God will show favor to our family member. God will show our family member salvation. My brother, you have salvation. My sister, you have salvation. So if your wife has salvation, if your husband has salvation, if your children have salvation, we are going to pray for and again. This is a prayer that Peter doesn't want any more to be free from this activity. But we are going to pray once again. Every sacrifice, every joy, every struggle. I 
shall follow us all the days if you understand that that scripture is it all the days every day in january every day in february every day in march every day in april every day in may every day in june july august september october in all the year of 2024 december goodness and mercy we are going to pray that this only yet because the prayer we are praying now eh, we are praying ahead 2024. We are praying ahead 2024. Mm-hmm. We're going to pray that this coming year 2024, oh God, let goodness and mercy manifest in my family. Let goodness mm-hmm. and mercy follow me and my members of my household. Sickness mm-hmm. will not follow us. They mm-hmm. will not follow us. Mm-hmm. Will mm-hmm. But the promise of God that goodness and mercy will manifest every day, every day. My dear brother, oh
my heart today breaks down. This prayer we are praying in Jesus' study, as we step to the new year, be taking inventory, be taking note because you are sowing a seed, a seed Amen. of prayer ahead of you. You are, the, you are praying ahead. And I want to assure you that as you keep yourself, you will pay yourself. I want to assure you that this coming year, it will be a year of easy. Amen. It will be a year of easy. Everything yeah. for you, yeah. Jesus name. Yeah. The Bible says, yeah. I will lift up my eyes on the hill. Where she called me <laughs> my head. My yeah. head called me from the Lord, which yeah. make heaven and earth. Yeah. You are going to pray for divine head. Help yeah. my bow. Help my bow. Yeah. And this could be year 2024. Oh God, I need supernatural help. My bone, spiritual help, physical help, mm. financial help, circular help. Oh, go! Mm. This could be year 2024. I need oh. help, my bone. Every mm. day, every month, every week of this coming year. Oh, God, I need your help, spiritual mm. help, supernatural help. Oh, mm. God, I want to pray and call upon the Lord. That no enemy of this coming year, you will lack the help of God. No enemy month, you will lack the help of God. Every month of this coming year, you will be there. My help comes from the Lord. 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 we know um, before I call on Pastor Matthew, I have about five minutes more before I call on Pastor Matthew. Listen to me. When God calls Solomon, he asks Solomon, what do you want me to do for you in your kingdom? Solomon said, give me wisdom, give me knowledge. And God said, you have not asked for the life of your enemy. What you do not pray for, God give it to Solomon. Mm. There is a particular request that the Holy Ghost name may add every time. And that is the request I want to, I want to give to every one of us to pray. The prayer request, if Jesus give that request before he went to heaven. He said the neighbor, he said the harvest to is plenty, but the neighbors are few. He said, Pray therefore, the Lord of the harvest will set forth neighbors into the feet of the harvest. Yeah. And read that scripture. I ask myself, in all our prayer meetings, have we been praying for God to send neighbors to the feet of the harvest? Are we consecrated? Are we going that evangelism? Are we winning souls? Are we doing money cry? Are we preaching the gospel? That is one of the greatest needs that Jesus Christ gave to the church before he went to heaven. You are going yes. to pray that prayer once again. That this coming year, oh God, make me to be a soul winner. This oh. coming year, oh God, make me to be fruitful yeah. spiritually. Mm -hmm. This coming year, oh God, in all the missionary, the mission field, send forth neighbors to the mission field this coming year. Go through your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Prayer the fighter. In the prayer request that Jesus is the fighter. Pray for the Lord of the Army. Which the Lord of the Army. Jesus of the Army. Grace and evangelism. Grace and evangelism. Grace and evangelism. Grace and evangelism. 
Sisters who have not yet married, or your own daughter, your own son that have not yet married, let's pray for them that God will connect them. God will Amen. give them good husband. God will Amen. give them good wife. Those who have Amen. been praying for the people of God in marriage, let's pray this coming year. The Lord will connect them to the abode of their flesh. The flesh of their flesh. Open oh, your mouth and pray for all those who are waiting for the will of God in marriage. So you give your soul, you pray for your soul. You pray for your family. 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 You pray for your Finally, 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 uh, this uh, somebody, in fact, a private chat meet uh, this, uh, during the day, uh, he said we should, we should stand with yeah. him for, for prayer that uh, my daughter is uh, having the miscarriage. Uh, why even when she conceived, you understand, more than when the daughter conceived, there's this yeah, miscarriage and all that. We are going to pray that God will put an end to that. And mm. then and uh, the Lord God Almighty will bless them with the with children, the fruit of the womb. God will bless this couple with the fruit of the womb. And every miscarriaging in the life of our daughter, God will destroy those things and give her a dancing baby to carry next year. Let's pray for this family. Let's pray for you. we bless the Lord because uh this prayer I don't mm -hmm. finish this tonight. I just thank the Holy Ghost for how you have assisted us tonight because even what I even prepared to open need today, I brought that aside. I didn't even touch any, any of the any of it at all. Father, we thank you because who are we? We are dust and ashes. We are nothing. We thank you for the help of the Holy Ghost. We bless your name. We glorify your name. 
preparation before manifestation. Even though I did not even prepare the, the topic, but you give us that topic preparation before the manifestation. We have decreed this coming year 2024. We pray, oh God, your perfect will for our life will come to pass as we have prayed, as we have prophesied, as we have sowed the seed of prayer. We shall avert all this prayer this coming year in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This coming year, God, we pray for more passion for souls. This coming year, God, we pray for more zeal in our heart. This coming year, God, we pray that we'll be firing for you. We pray for more compassion for soul winning, for the gospel going out for body cry and pray and interceding and pray for pray for mission missionary and pray to you to send uh, to send great advent. A, a, a best of, to, 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 to the other feet we pray oh god let your kingdom expand this coming year become stronger and stronger in in our life in jesus name amen, amen. we believe as you build us up in your kingdom every other thing will be added in jesus name amen amen, amen. amen. In jesus name we pray Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Ali, I've taken my time. I think I've thought I've stopped so, talking like that for some time now. But today I have the reason to say it. So it's going to give me money for taking my time. He will take the spiritual aspect of it. Uh, allowing him to take the spiritual aspect of it. Let him give me money. <laughs> <laughs> it is way in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, um, Bible let me know that those people who sow with tears, they shall reap with joy. The last day I came on, I came on here. Yeah, I wish everybody knew the situation I was for me to able to speak in that way. The leader in the church, as a leader in the community, then by the grace of the Lord, for the respect everyone has been giving me. Um, I really appreciate those people who believe with me that, oh, Pastor, you have brought yourself so down to that extent. And then they took up the challenge, they pray. I really appreciate those people who take up the challenge that, oh, Pastor is passing through all this. So, uh, and then I wish to appreciate myself too for able to speak out. I didn't let the devil take the the control because the, my language is saying when you are not facing the battle, you call yourself a conqueror. But I want to share the testimony today that by the grace of the man. Lord, you call yourself a man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I want to testify today that by the grace of the Lord, around 3.30 or 4.30, the debt of $4,000, somebody pay it once and for all. That's the power. You know what $4,000 means in Nigeria, in the United States? I mean, in Nigeria, that's $4 million. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So, somebody pay it off. Just can within three thirty and three thirty yeah. uh, four thirty. Thank Just you. Just call me and then he paid you off. Uh, this is the person that I didn't know. I doubt if he even he even know that I presented that prayer. And then uh, I want to appreciate those people who are so concerned that Pastor, you are more than this. Even I've sent this online. I appreciate those people who call. Uh, okay, Pastor, it is well with you. Uh, I did not give myself credit for seeing it online on that day, but I wish you know what. Uh, I do not give my credit for myself credit for anything on that day, but God knows way of turning tears joy. Then the remaining one, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. People, all of you, the, my pastors, they have not been slept. They had me. 
it was her face. And then I think I will never repeat it again. <laughs> but I want to appreciate them. They never slept. They have been calling, saying you a lot of things, advising, counseling. Uh, I thank God that uh, I have every one of you. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not miss me in the kingdom of God. I will not miss you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord and Lord, we take every one of us in. So, the Amen. many situations you have, never lose hope. Never lose hope. Mighty God, I see you in darkness. We surely reward you openly in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to appreciate this one of our sisters. I don't like mentioning names. Because of many, of she knows she has what she's passing through too. Uh, before taking the challenge of helping the church on helping us for the prayer meeting, uh, many of us may not know. Uh, you know, it's challenges in Nigeria. So we look at it that okay, if all our pastors are doing this, what should we do? We are just helping them with the token amount, token amount. Um, in my church, I'm the only the taxpayer, the taxpayer, and everything bounces on me. Sometimes it was like a, a real challenge. But still, we never stop. Although the pastor, the other time, many of them, I have to be forcing them to do whatever we are doing for them. And then they never say because of this, they stop. They always be online with us. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God will reward them abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know if they use Zoom, but I've tried it. If they use card, they cannot spend more than $30,000 per hour. So you can see what they are doing for us. I don't know if they, when they use Zoom. So, but one of our sisters, we may not know her, you know how since the beginning of the year she has never stopped helping George. Then I pray that Almighty God is going to reward her abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. The of the Lord will continue to be with her in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I'm somebody that uh, uh, the way I look at God may not be the way many people look at it. I pour my heart before Him. My relationship with him is very, very unique. And then I went to one of the pastors outside my church on Saturday. I was discussing about my relationship with God. I said one comment before I left. That you are a man of prayer. And then my prayer with Almighty God is not... Uh, somebody was asking me, you pray like this, you pray like this, you may pray like this. So they said, I don't know how to pray against enemy. You may not know. I don't, I don't, I can't even remember them. That my enemy will not prosper. That my enemy will not be able to capture me. That my enemy will not do this. I don't, I don't know how that can be prayer. The only prayer is I know is, if you have been taking note of me, thank you God. Have mercy upon me. Thank you God. Have mercy upon me. I don't know more than that. All other prayer, I just went straight for him. God is what I need. And if he does it, fine. If he doesn't do it, he won't match you. So, uh, for that, our sister, we continue to pray for her. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we know no sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, recently, they are interviewed somebody, and they said, they asked him, do you face challenges in your work? He said, who is going to be like who I am now that I've never faced challenges? Challenge is part of promotion. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, every challenge of this, our sister, God will turn it to promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So in here, Almighty God will let her reap in joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Every time I call her, even Amen. when the money is not there, when he has not sent the money, you know me, I know how to call people. But, uh, I need your money. Fast, fast. So, uh, I know the woman, we share his rapper and send the money through it. Almighty God will be with her in Jesus' name. Another one of our brother have taken challenge again to be supporting us. Uh, we will continue to pray for him that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he will not tire too in Jesus' name. Commitment is very hard to make. I want to tell you something. Please, I may be taking your time, but sometimes I see from experience 
so that you can know that uh, the um, experience with the biblical knowledge conquer a lot of trials. I remember when I went to uh, the. Uh, let, please let me pardon me. I'm not using it for embarrassment. I'm using it to let you know what it means to make a commitment. Mm. I went to the marriage committee and I made some things about what my marriage is going to look like, what my marriage is going to look like. And the marriage committee said, no, you don't do this. There's something you need to be very bold. You need to be specific. That's when this thing happens, this is what I'm going to be doing to the Lord. But by the time you share your 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 commitment, may be very challenging. Uh, please, if you need question about what I say, call me so that I don't want to disrupt. Uh, I'm not destroying family. I'm just doing something. So uh, what I mean that uh, to make a commitment is very very hard, and to continue manifestation to obey that commitment is very hard. Especially if sometimes you have made commitment, you too you have not eaten. Uh, let me please make it a, a little proud, a, a little pride, please. I've not spent money in a day, in a day. Let me use Nigerian money that is very, very valuable, <laughs> so that I can kajuk everybody. <laughs> I've not given money in a day. It's I, I, there's no way I will not give five thousand naira. That's not my situation. As a gift, there is no way, one way or the other. I have a sister that always telling me, Ramati, you are doing this, but even you, you have not eaten yourself. How much have you, how much money have you spent today? My daughter yesterday forced me, forced me. He was telling me that my daddy, your all your shoe is outdated. You must go and buy another shoe. I'm telling you. And luckily for me, even those shoes, they were giving to me. <laughs> Free. <laughs> but she had to force me yesterday. That daddy, because I always go and buy something for them. And when I buy something for them, you will be forcing me. Daddy, why you don't buy it for yourself? I always tell them, you are my life. You are my future. You are everything. What I As far as you, you are good outside, I'm good. But you have them, you know them, some little, those children sometimes, how they behave. You have to force me yesterday. That new year is coming, you must go and buy another shoe for yourself. So by the grace of the Lord, I went with my credit card. I bought $49 shoe. But today... God cancel my day with four thousand dollars free of charge. Almighty God will be with you in the name of Jesus of Christ. The mercy of the Lord will follow every one of us in the name of Jesus of Christ. Do not tarry in good thing in good thing. Only God knows when you are going to be relieved of it. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the joy of the Lord will continue to be our testimony in Jesus' name. For testimony on Saturday, I have a great meeting that I'm going to attend with my arrow. I don't know if Pastor Pastor Mary is still online. I've sent the message to him. I, I, I will have let it be done behind me. But this year is a special year for me too. You cannot do something like that without me being there. Please, <laughs> you just add on me. So I will appreciate it. We can shift the testimony to the first week of January. This meeting is, is mandatory. It was, I must be there with regional overseer. So please, uh, Pastor Ali and uh, all our brethren, and this one, I know you are in midnight now. Please, pardon me for taking your time. Is it allowed, Pastor Ali, please? And just please. Uh, yeah, uh, I want no, to no be problem, in that. Sir. No problem, sir. If, I want to be if in that. We'll do the, yeah, uh, praise the Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Uh, if we do the Thanksgiving first week of January, we see okay, yeah. sir. Now the first week of January will be uh that is uh ah, covenant. Week. covenant Covenant week? No, 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 no. Okay, no, you can't just stop us. Because Saturday on the week of Saturday. Okay. That will be okay. Uh, it will be on, on the sixth of Saturday. Okay. Monday is okay. on the fourth. Thursday is on the fourth. Then on Saturday is on the 6th. So let's put it on the 6th of on Saturday by January. Testimony, uh, get together, and all that. So okay. so that you will be present in that meeting. Amen. 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 So I want to make something. <laughs> as as I want to leave something come to my mind. <laughs> I just want everybody to laugh. 
I believe you will bring your food because Master at least said something. I think <laughs> so that we bring our food, we bring our so that we bring everything we can eat online on that day. <laughs> God will help us. So continue, sir. Continue, Master Ali. So on the on Saturday on the sixth, we are going to have yeah. uh, we are going to have it. So Pastor Moreke, please take note of that job, Pastor. Take note of that place. That will be first week of January on the sixth of January by by two p.m. Nigeria time over there in the United States. Eight o'clock. Yes. Thank you very much for giving me that. Uh, uh, I mean, privilege. Almighty God, we. Give every one of us privilege to in Jesus' name. Amen. And the power and the blood of Jesus at our time, when the epa needs to come, as far as I look for it today, we will not lack epa in Jesus' name. Amen. And the joy of the Lord will continue Amen. to be our strength in Jesus' name. Amen. So uh, our time has gone, uh, taking our time. Uh, let us just share the grace together. Once again, I uh, appreciate every one of you. Happy New Year in advance in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. that one does not mean that I will not be meeting on Saturday, but I may be operating when I'm driving. So, and I will want to be fully participating in the testimony. So that's why I say we should cancel it. Thank you very much, sir. But, but you can park okay. and you. you can park and participate, sir. Driving is not driving and I, I may be driving because uh, you know I will go to work on Friday. Then for immediately I come home, I will be driving to the place. So it will be about one and a half hours or something like that. So if I pass, <laughs> it will take from my driving hour to get there. Because if it's Nigeria, they will arrest you. Go to the arrest you. Uh, no, police will arrest me here too. But you are saying... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, I know what you are saying. <laughs> police will arrest me too if they see me. I know what you are saying. My okay, children will sir. follow me, so we will we, 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 we know what to do. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. God will bless you, sir. God bless you, my good night. That's all. Good night, sir. Thank good you. Nice.